Hi, Smartysaurus. We've come to see your latest experiment. Oh, come in, come in. <laughs> A mirror. Yes, but look, Noddy. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a go? Yes! Who's this? Oh, she's my new friend. <laughs> Come here, Ducky. Come to Smartysaurus. Oh, sweet. She's so cute. Where did she come from? I don't know. She just turned up outside my lab. I think she might be lost. Little duck, where do you come from? <laughs> Uh, I don't speak duck. She can stay here, Noddy. She does seem to like it. Yes, but she must have a home somewhere. And a family who miss her. Yes, I suppose you're right. I need to investigate. How can I get the lost duck home? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the little lost toy. What's your first move, Noddy? Well, I can't understand Duck's beak. So, I'll work out where she lives by myself. Maybe a pond. Come on. This way, Ducky. Come on. Well done. Come on. Come on. We're going to take you to the pond at the treehouse. It does look like she wants to stay with me, Noddy. Hmm. Quack, quack. You can't stay quack. here, little duck. Come on. Quack, huh? quack, quack, quack. I'll never find out where she lives if she won't come with us. You can put her in this. I've made it nice and cosy. Good idea. Come on, little duck. Look, lovely box for you. Quack. Quack, quack. Oh. Well done, Smartysaurus. Come on, Bumpy. Good luck, bye. Noddy. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye, little duck. Why don't you show me what else the mirrors can do? Go and look at the pond. Noddy! <laughs> Noddy! <laughs> pat, pat. <gasps> what have you got there? Quack, 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 quack. Oh, isn't she sweet? <laughs> ducky, ducky, ducky! Ducky, ducky! <laughs> Does she come from your pond? I don't think so. Look. My ducks are completely different to this little ducky wucky. Quack, quack. Aha. Uh -huh. Come back. <laughs> she keeps doing that. Where else could Little Duck live? Not Brickybuild. Ducks don't like cities. Daredale? The 
that might be a bit scary for a little duck. What about the farm? Farmer Tom has lots of animals. Maybe he has ducks too. That's a super duper idea. Let's go. <laughs> bye bye. Bumpy, look. It's Farmer Tom's cat. I think she needs help. Kitty, <laughs> what have you done? Meow. Meow. Another job well done. Now, let's find Farmer Tom. <laughs> it's Farmer Tom and Tractor. What are they doing? <laughs> Look, Bumpy, ducks. And they're just like our little duck. <laughs> Hello, Farmer Tom. Huh? Who are you looking for? Is it a little duck? Noddy, however did you guess? This is her mum and sister. Quack, 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 quack. Hello, ducks. I know exactly where your little duck is, don't I, Bumpy? <coughs> we found her. She's right here in this box. <gasps> She's gone. Quack, 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 quack. We need to go back the way we came and look for little duck along the way. Quack, quack. Please don't worry, Mummy Duck. We'll bring her back really soon. I can't see anything. Can you? Hey, what's over there, Revs? Smarty Saurus put those in Little Duck's box. Got it! Little Duck keeps heading back towards the Dino Lab. Perhaps she does want to stay with Smarty Saurus after all. <laughs> Hello? Smarty Saurus? <laughs> <sighs> she came back to me, Nuddy! <laughs> I think she wants to stay here forever. It certainly looks that way. Have you found out where she comes from? She lives with her family at the farm. They're all missing her a lot. Oh. Then you'd better take her home. Oh. Come here, little duck. <coughs> <coughs> She really doesn't want to leave the lab. But why? Quack. What is it you love about the mirror, little duck? Quack. When she looks at herself, she makes that special quack. <laughs> quack! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she thinks the duck in the mirror is her mum. Look, she's missing her family, just like they're missing her. Oh, come on, Bumpy. I'll be back soon. Quack, quack, quack. Smarty Saurus, big ears, we're back. Quack, quack, quack. How happy they are! <laughs> we'll have no trouble getting her back to the farm now. <laughs> Thanks, Noddy. And Bumpy. Oh. 
Farmer Tom, would it be okay for Smarty Saurus to visit them on the farm sometimes? Of course. She can come as often as she likes. Oh, thank you. I'd love that. <laughs> well done, Noddy. Now Little Duck can go to her real home. <laughs> Thanks. After I'd worked out that the Little Duck was looking for her family, I just needed to bring them here. Now she can go home with them instead of looking at the ducky in the mirror. <laughs> the case of the Little Lost Toy is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Ready. Steady! Away! Oh. Huh? Ooh! Oh, arr. Ahoy there! We're on a treasure hunt. But this here stinky old sock is all we've found. Scurvy's found treasure in Fable Forest. Full speed ahead. See you later. <laughs> Let's carry on racing. <laughs> Ready, steady. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Stop. Revs, are you okay? What's wrong? You don't know? Huh? Don't worry. I'll find out what's happening and make you better. I need to investigate. What's making Revs jumpy? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of Jumpy Revs. How are you going to investigate this time? I think the first thing we need to do is check Revs' engine. Mm. All checked. Your engine's working perfectly. Revs, I'm going to let off your brake to test if you're still jumpy. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, what was that? I don't know. When Revs jumped, my bell jumped too. <laughs> Oh. What's my teapot doing there? And my spoons? Uh, they're all pointing in the same direction. It's a trail. First Revs jumped, then my bell. And now my teapot and spoons. <laughs> yes, and they all jumped at the same time and in the same direction. What's your plan, Noddy? I'm going to follow this trail. It might help me find out what's making everything jumpy. Oh, yes. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Revs. I'll look after you. Let's go. Good luck, Doddy. <laughs> Why have you got a pan on your head? Who goes there? It's me, Noddy. Hello, Noddy. We were on a snack break in the castle kitchen when suddenly... Pans jumped and a magical force pulled us out of the castle. A magical force? Correct, sire. But you have nothing to fear. We will defend Toyland from this magical force with <coughs> our strength, shields and... High leg kicks! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Knights together! together. Salute! Ooh. A magical force? 
Who do we know with magical powers? <gasps> Queen Sparkle Wings! How can I help? Well, I wondered if you're making jumping spells? Jumping spells? Certainly not. This jumping thingy made my tiara leap into that bush all by itself. But if it's not your magic doing it, what is making everything jumpy? <sighs> tiara, come back this minute! Sorry. Why is everything in Toyland jumpy? There must be a clue I've missed. You started jumping, then my bell, then Biggie's teapot, then the knights. You're right. I'm not jumpy and you're not jumpy. So why are only some things jumpy? Metal! My bell is made of metal, and so is Rev's engine. And everything that's moving. The jumpy force only pulls things with metal. And now we know where it's coming from. Revs, can you be really brave? I'm going to let off your brakes. We need to race towards the jumpy force. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Noddy? Huh? What's happening? Everything's jumping in Brickabuild. Is there a problem with your brakes? They're stiff. Somebody said we were too busy to have the car checked this morning. Oh. <laughs> Try to go backwards. It'll help. Thanks, Noddy. Oh! Hooray! Whoa! It's the pirates! Oh, right, look at that! Whoa! Oh! Look! Who are? Hooray! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Let's increase the power, and the treasure will be ours! Oh, no! Ouch! Eh? Huh? <laughs> They've got a giant magnet. That's why you've been jumpy, Revs. Only metal things are moving towards it. Whoa! 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 <laughs> what was that? It's the engine. The car is breaking down. Maybe if we had the checkup as planned. Whoa! Make it oh, no. stop! No! No! Whoa, no! Stop oh, it! Oh! Go! Captain, your magnet's causing problems all over Toyland. You need to turn it off. Well, that's the problem, lad. There's so much metal we can't turn it off. This here magnet Scurvy found is nothing but trouble. There's more metal heading your way. <laughs> Clockwork Mouse's car will crush the ship. <laughs> Clockwork Mouse? It's too much. Pirates abandon ship. <laughs> Rest, be careful! I've got 
to turn it off. Whoa! Super Revs and Super Bumpy. Thank you, Naughty. Now, Pirate Captain has a lot of explaining to do. Um. Oh. Sorry, Revs. We didn't mean to make you jumpy. We just got carried away and then we couldn't turn the magnet off. Sorry, everyone. You don't have to stop your treasure hunt, but maybe turn this dial down so the magnet isn't so powerful. You are pirates after all. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. But we're going to do our treasure hunt in the old-fashioned way. With a map, a spade and a good old treasure chest to put the bounty in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we had that checkup, eh, Carlton? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Noddy. Toyland is back to normal. Thanks. <laughs> when Revs raced towards the jumpy force, I saw the magnet making everything metal jump around. The case of jumpy Revs is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! I need to investigate. How can I get Deltoid to be friends with Smarty Saurus again? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this... A case of Deltoid's strange behaviour. First, I'll talk to Deltoid to find out why he keeps running away from Smartysaurus. <coughs> Come on, Bumpy. <coughs> Let's go. Good luck, Noddy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? And who is this deltoid of whom you speak? You're deltoid. And I'm Noddy, your friend. Noddy? <laughs> Whoa! Down! Down, strange, waggy dog thing. That's Bumpy. You must remember him. I'm sorry, I have no time to chat, Noddy, for there is a monster on the loose, and I need to get home. <laughs> a monster? What monster? Big blue glasses. Oh, <laughs> you mean Smartysaurus? But she isn't a big blue monster. She's a dinosaur, and she's your friend. My friend? Well, I am. Uh, Deltoid. Deltoid. Thanks. <laughs> I cannot be friends with that terrible lizard. Farewell, Noddy. I need to get home. 
Ah, mm, and my home is where? Come on, I'll give you a lift and we can find some clues. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place of wonder. Wow, I feel so at home. <laughs> and you can't remember anything? Nothing. All I know is there is a monster, and I must use all my martial arts powers of Del Toido to defeat it. Wait, what's that rattle? Rattle? What rattle? <laughs> it's coming from inside you. Look! <laughs> There's a scratch on your control panel. Huh. Um. Hmm. Smartysaurus said you slipped and fell. Maybe something came loose inside. Maybe that's what's making you rattle. And maybe that's why he can't remember anything. That's a lot of maybes, Nod E. You're right. I need proof. I know. I'll take an X-ray photo. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Deltoid, there you are! Hmm? <gasps> the blue monster! Hey! <laughs> Deltoid! Run! <laughs> mm. Look, Bumpy! <laughs> wait! I'm your friend! Deltoid, wait! Aha! This is what fell out of Deltoid. But what is it? <laughs> Let's go and ask Fuse. He knows all about how toys work. Then maybe I can solve the investigation and Deltoid and Smartysaurus can be friends again. A picture of the inside of Deltoid. So, what now? Now to find a match with the tiny piece you found. Calculating. Big files. Overload. Answer. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? <sighs> Clever Bumpy. The X-ray photo! Look! Use! Oh. Look! I took this photo of Deltoy today. Oh, It's the same as the picture in the manual. Exactly. Except for one tiny difference. Look! In the X-ray, there's nothing there. But in the manual, there's a tiny piece. So that must be where this tiny piece goes. Happy face! Oh, worried face! Huh? This is Deltoid's memory chip, where he stores all his memories. Look! <laughs> That's Deltoid with all his friends, and that's him with Smartysaurus. Ah, so that's why he can't remember anything. He doesn't have his memory chip in. Correct. So if we put it back inside him, he'll remember he's friends with Smartysaurus. Correct, again. Thanks, Fuse. Come on, Bumpy. Oh, I wonder where Deltoid is now. Hmm. I saw him at his house. Then he ran off towards... The Daredevil Caves. Maybe that's where he is. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, let's go. Hello, deltoid. Hello, deltoid. I am making a trap to catch the blue monster. Smartysaurus isn't a monster. <laughs> Look, this is your memory chip. If you let me put it back inside you, you'll remember everything. I promise. Hmm. How do I know you are truly telling the truth? Because I'm your friend, remember? <laughs> there you are! No, wait! Ha ha ha! Aha! Look out! Deltoid! <gasps> <gasps> oh, my tail! <clears throat> you saved me. <sighs> Stand back, Noddy. <laughs> We saved each other. You are my friend. Oh. I just wish I could remember why. There. Any second now, your memories will come back. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At last, I, Deltoid, can remember all my friends. Bumpy, <laughs> Noddy, <laughs> Smarty Saurus, I remember everything. <laughs> well done, Noddy. You finished the investigation. <laughs> Thanks. Once I realised that Deltoid had lost his memory chip, I knew what to do. When I put it back into his control panel, Deltoid got his memories back. And now, Deltoid and Smartysaurus are friends again. The case of Deltoid's strange behaviour is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! <laughs> 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 When's your show, Pat Pat? This afternoon at Brickerbell Town Square. The pockets are going to decorate the square with those ribbons so that it looks super lovely. <laughs> wee, wee. I've been practicing for ages and ages. Wow! I want my show to be super duper extra amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't very super amazing. Don't worry. It was only Revs honking his horn that threw you. And you won't do that again, will you, Revs? <laughs> Good boy. We're going to collect big ears. See you at the show. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do like a baton twirling performance. <laughs> I did a bit of it myself, and it's not as easy as it... Ooh. Oh no! Oh! Ah. What's happening? Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Slippery stuff! Slippery stuff! Grab my hand! <laughs> Thank you, lad. That stuff be a terrible nuisance. Arr! What on earth is going on? Why is all this slippery stuff <laughs> oh, everywhere? I'm sorry, Pet Pet. We can't have your show until the whole area's been cleared. It's just too slippery. What a pity. That's really strange. There's slippery stuff smeared all over the place. I don't think this was an accident. Mm. Do you think someone was trying to ruin Pat Pat's show? Maybe. 
I need to investigate. Who spoiled Pat Pat's show? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the slippery stage. How are you going to start the investigation, Noddy? I need to find out what all this stuff is. Hang on, Bumpy. There. Hmm. It looks like the polish Fuse gives me to keep me nice and shiny, Bumpy. <laughs> Maybe he knows something about all this slippery stuff. Let's go! I was at an emergency repair. How can I help you? Do you know anything about this? Yes. Happy face! It's my homemade polish. The best in Toyland. Yes, I know, but do you know why it spreads all over the square? It's all slippery and Pat Pat can't put on her show. Negative. Poor Pat Pat. Sad face! Here are my tins of polish. All in order, as you can see. Two polished tins are missing. But cannot compute. They were there before I went out. Uh, someone must have taken them. But the door was locked. So how did they get in? Hmm. Huh? Was that window open when you went out? Correct. I left it open. Uh, uh, thief alert! Thief alert! Check or stop. Calculating! Calculating! Thief alert! Thief alert! Oh? Thanks, Bumpy. Fuse! I think this is for you. Oh. oh! Sorry, Fuse. This is a polish emergency. I couldn't wait for your return, so I took two tins. Calculating. No thief! Happy face! But who was it? <laughs> this looks like fairy dust. Maybe one of the fairies took your polish. They're small enough to get through the window and they can fly. Coco and Cleo? But why? That's what I'm going to find out. Let's go to Fable Forest. <laughs> Polishing day. No one is allowed inside. But I'm on an investigation. Ah, well, how about these? Ta -da! <laughs> Slippers? Thanks. Now, what are you investigating? Do tell. Brickerville Town Square is covered in polish. Really? How strange. And I've hardly got enough polish for the throne room. How does a queen polish all these floors with only one tin? Uh... Coco was meant to bring two. <gasps> Fuse's hmm. polish is the best in Toyland. It works even better on the floors than my magic. Um, uh, 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 queen Sparkle Wings. Oh, no. What's happened? Sorry, Noddy. Got to dash. Good luck with your investigation. Only one tin. But Coco took two tins. What's happened to the other one? Oh. <laughs> Hello, knights. Do you know where the fairies are? Good day, Noddy. I do know that they're not here polishing with us like they should be. They went outside. We know our duty. Nights polish until the floors are shining clean. See? Oh, oh, oh. I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> 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 
Coco. Leo. Huh? Huh? Hello, Noddy. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I like it. <laughs> really? I preferred the ponytail. Um. <laughs> Coco, when did you get the ribbon? Oh. I'm sure I've seen ribbon like that before. <laughs> Look, Pat Pat has the same ribbons. She said the pockets were using them to decorate the town square. Coco, did you put slippery polish on the square? No, I wasn't anywhere near the square, but I did swap the polish for... For a pink ribbon? Hmm. Did the pockets swap it? No. So, if it wasn't the pockets... Was it Pat Pat? Yes. But what for? Why would she want to spoil her own show? <laughs> well done! Noddy, what are you doing here? Pat Pat, did you put polish all over the square? It's okay. You can tell me if you did. But why? I was nervous about making a mistake. You saw me drop the baton earlier when Rev speaked. I just needed some time for extra practice. It's OK, Pat-Pat. Everyone gets nervous. I know. I'm so sorry. I wanted to give a super-duper show, but I'm still not sure I can do it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I have an idea. Before I start, I just want to say the biggest ever sorry to all of you for all the trouble I caused. Hmm, music! <laughs> Thanks, Big Ears. Once I knew it was polishing day at the fairy castle and that fairy Coco swapped the polish for Pat Pat's ribbon, I worked out it was Pat Pat who was delaying her show. She wanted to practice more. The case of the slippery stage is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Ooh. Hello, Fuse. Oh, screechy brakes. Shall I mend them? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> wow, what's that? It is my new automatic toy wash. <laughs> Proceed! Why don't you have a go? Then you won't have to wait for me and Bumpy to clean you. No! Oh no! Oh. Ah. Never fear! Deltoid is here! <laughs> Ah, 
Ha 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 The start lever's broken. But how? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, someone here must have broken it off. But why would someone do that? I don't know. Sad face. Oh. Oh, dear. Poor Fuse. I need to investigate. Why did someone break Fuse's toy wash? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now. Let's call this the case of the broken toy wash. What are you going to do, Noddy? I need to find out who broke the toy wash and then ask them why they did it. Oh, look! There's a bit of paint missing from the lever. You're right. Hmm. I wonder how that happened. Don't worry, Revs. I haven't forgotten your screechy brakes. Huh? <laughs> Some keys. A house and a barn. These must be farmer's keys. Yes, <laughs> but how did they end up there? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Let's go! You are now exiting Brickerville. them by the toy wash. I must have dropped them when I was helping pull the anchor. Oh, you can't have broken the lever. You were busy. And look, so were Deltoid and Smarty Saurus. So it must have been someone else who was there. <laughs> Shush, Revs. I promise we'll fix your screechy rates as soon as I finish this investigation. Thanks. Now, who else was at the toy wash? Oh, I know. Who? <laughs> oh, no, Revs. <gasps> Not to worry. We'll soon round him up. No, wait. Who else was near the toy wash? Pat Pat and the pocket. Let's go and visit Pat Pat. Yet. No. Farmer Tom said he saw you close to it. Were any of you near it when it was broken? No. Yes, I was, but I didn't touch the lever. I just went to have a closer look. Oh. Did you see anyone else? No. Hmm. Or hear anything unusual? <gasps> ah, 
Yes, I did. I heard a really super strange noise. What sort of noise? <gasps> a sort of... Screech! A screech! Uh, no, more of a... Huh? That's it. You've got it. That wasn't me. That was... Revs! <gasps> Noddy! You don't think Revs did it, do you? I don't know. He has been acting really strangely, but why would he break Fuse's toy wash? And where's he gone? <coughs> OK, let's think. Rev seemed really upset. Where would I go if I was him? When I'm huh? upset, I always go where I feel safe and cosy. Of course! That's it! Thanks, Pat Pat! <laughs> Revs! There you are. Huh? What's this? Paint. Hmm. The same colour as the lever on the toy wash. Revs, was it you who broke the lever? But why? You were just about to have a go. Oh, you didn't want to have a go. But why not? It'll be much more fun than just being washed by Bumpy and me. Did you think we didn't want to wash you and play together anymore? Of course we do. The toy wash just looked like so much fun. We love playing with you. But I'd get all wet if I went into the toy wash. I might have an idea how to make it fun for all of us. <laughs> Hooray! But we need to do something first. Rev says he's really sorry. That's OK, Revs. There, your screechy brakes are fixed. And so is my toy wash. Happy face! Super Revs to the car wash. Ready, steady, proceed. Go! Noddy, you finished the investigation. <laughs> Thanks. When Pat Pat did the screech sound, I knew Revs had broken the toy wash. He thought Bumpy and me didn't want to play with him anymore. He's happy now. <laughs> and sparkling clean. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> the case of the broken toy wash is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Noddy and the new taxi. It's a busy day in Toyland. Lots of people are coming and going, and many people need a ride in Noddy's car. There it is, Dinodoll, the train station. We made it right on time. Here comes my train, Noddy. <laughs> 
Noddy! I really don't know what I'd do without your little cab, Noddy. You're the best taxi service in Toyland. <laughs> I'm the only taxi service in Toyland. Thanks again, Noddy. I like it. my car. It takes me far. Come and take a trip with me. Hop on in. Look, car, it's almost 12 o'clock. Time to pick up Mr Wobbly Man at the town square. Flying Gobble. Look at our fancy taxi, Noddy. I guess you're not the only taxi service in town anymore. I'm sorry, Noddy, but they got here first and they're not charging me anything. Well, goodbye. Yeah, bye, Noddy. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Toyland can have two taxis. <sighs> Good afternoon, Noddy. Oh, hello, Big Ears. Did you just see that funny looking taxi? Yes, I'm glad you're not upset over the new competition. After all, you were the only taxi driver in Toyland until today. I'm not worried. Toyland is big. There's plenty of room for two taxi services. And besides, Big Ears, everyone likes me. That is very gracious of you to share your customers with Sly and Gobbo. However, keep your eyes open, Noddy. Those two goblins are troublemakers. I will, Big Ears. Bye. Well, Car, we need to find another customer. Oh, look, over there. It's Mr. Schedule. Hey. Need a lift, lady? It's free. <gasps> oh, well, in that case. Hiya, Noddy. <laughs> I guess we know who the real go-getters in this town are. Your taxi might be free, but my car can go far and fast. Say, that's right. I'm in a hurry to get to Mr Straw's farm in the country and only Noddy can get me there quickly. Rats! Everyone thinks Noddy is a better taxi driver than us! That's because he's got a car and we don't. That's it, Sly. All we need to do is get rid of Noddy's car. Then we'll be the only taxi service in town. Then everyone will need us and we'll be important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Hurry, open that garage door before anyone sees us. I can't even see us. Little car, I just had a healthy breakfast. Let's drive off and greet the new day. Well, come on. I like my car. It takes me far. Whoa! Whoa! Car, you stop right this minute. Noddy, you're driving crazy. I didn't drive badly, Mr. Plod. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. That's enough didn'ts, Noddy. But I didn't do it this time, Mr. Plod. The car drove badly all by itself. <laughs> Honest. In that case, I'm arresting you and your car. <gasps> Perfect. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. 
car? What made you act so badly? Hmm. Who would like a lift from the only taxi in town? Oh, I have been walking all morning and my legs are killing me. I do need a ride home. OK, that will be six coins. That is outrageous! Noddy only charges me two. Well, in case you haven't noticed, Noddy and his taxi are in jail. So if you want a ride, let's see the coins, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy, I just heard. What made you drive so badly? It wasn't me, Big Ears. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. My car suddenly had a mind of its own. I seriously doubt that, Big Ears. I had Mr. Sparks, the mechanic, examine the car, and he couldn't find anything wrong. Hmm. Perhaps the problem isn't mechanical. Maybe it's magical. Magic, huh? Well, you can look at the car if you want to. Aha! Ooh! A silly spell. It makes things act silly. See? It wasn't me. Can you take the spell off, Big Ears? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Noddy. But that's impossible. Only the person who put the spell on can take it off. So, who put it there? Noddy, who would like to see you locked up in jail? If I'm in here, Sly and Gobbo would be the only taxi service in town. Mm, correct. The goblins, hmm? Yes, knew it all along. But if I want to arrest those two scoundrels, I'll need proof. And I will give it to you. Hazelnut and blade of grass, make those goblins come here fast. Sly, this is the greatest plan I ever thought up. <laughs> uh, I don't like where we're headed. Uh, pedal, Sly, pedal. Uh, oh. Here come your scoundrels now. <laughs> oh. All right, you two. I want the truth. Don't tell him anything, Sly. Not to worry. He can tweak my nose, but I'll never tell him how we put that silly spell on Noddy's car last night. Oops. Just as I thought. Now march in there and remove that um, silly spell from Noddy's car. OK, OK. But just this once. You're free to go, Noddy. Sorry for the mix-up. And I'm sorry about the broken lamps and benches. Don't worry about those. The money Sly and Gobbo took from their passengers will go to fix everything. Well, it looks like you're the only taxi in town again, Noddy. Yes, and I'll try to be a better driver than ever. Thanks again. I like my car. It takes me far. Come and take a trip with me. Hop on in. 